All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Ko Hala Yahawa, Ba Shem Yahawa Shai, Ba Shem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And a shalom to you, sincere Akiyam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. to be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And it's going to be super quick, super, super quick. Um, this popped up in my news feed from a Valuetainment. And um, I'm not going to play the video. Obviously, I don't want to get copyright stricken. But I highly implore you to go to this channel and uh, watch this video. And it's the account. Well, let me read it. It says, um, horrifying details about Woody Allen abusing his kids. And it says, um, in this short clip, Patrick, Bet David, Whitney Webb, Adam Sosnick, and Vincent Oshana discuss the horrifying details of Woody Allen abusing his kids. And they're going to play a recording. I think it's from the 90s. A secretly recorded um, uh, tape between Woody Allen and his, um, I guess it's his ex-wife. And you're going to hear, um, hey, it's just <laughs> disgusting, man. Disgusting. But it's nothing we don't know. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, you know. And um, you'll hear the account, you know, straight from the horse's mouth. But, um, like I said, go watch this video in its entirety. It's going to be real quick. I just wanted to spotlight this. It popped up in my news feed. And I had to um, bring out a couple scriptures, man. I had to, had to, had to, man. You know? Um, let's start with Mark. Uh, Mark 4 and 22. For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifest. Neither was anything kept secret, but that should it, but that it should come abroad. All right? There's nothing hid from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has been keeping tabs on this goddamn devil. The eyes of the Lord are, are, are upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You know? You know, so, hey, nothing is going uh, unpunished, man. You know? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall not at all acquit the wicked. And we're in the time of his judgment. All right? That day is quickly approaching. We know Esau Edom is a fugitive and a vagabond. Fleeing from justice, going back to um, Cain, all right, you know, but hey, man, <laughs> we, we don't know the half of what this devil's been doing, you know, so so that's why it's important. I'm going to close out with Psalm 73. But that's why it's important not to envy this devil, you know, you see, or, or these, um, these two thirds, you see these celebrities, you see these, um, you know, our people in uh, so-called high up positions and, and you know. These entertainers, these athletes, these politicians, hey, you don't know what they had to do to get in that position, you know? Nine times out of ten, they had to do something strange for a little bit of change. They had to compromise their morals, their principles, you know, you know, to get the bag, you know, because this man is a devil. And you, you don't get nothing, um, nothing's for free, you know? Hey, so don't envy these damn heathens and Esau. He's a he's the devil the Bible speaks of. He is the wicked per Malachi 1 and 4. And the time is coming where, well, which, we, which we see it now, shameful spewing is on his glory. The man of sin is revealed. He cannot hide himself, man. You know? All type of skeletons and bones and, you know, it's falling out of this devil's closet. You know? But ultimately, <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to fully expose this devil when he returns and takes him down. You know, he shall not at all acquit the wicked. So, this is Proverbs uh, 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. And that's what happens with a lot of our people. They envy this devil. You know, you know they want to get up there in Hollywood. They want to get up, you know. They want to be worshipped by the world. But, hey, hey, in order to get up there, man, you, hey, it's a bunch of wickedness going on. You got to sell your soul, you know? So, again, watch this video here in its entirety. You're going to hear the actual account. A seven-year-old girl, man, you know? You know? The, uh, I don't even want to say some, you know, repeat the things that was in the video. You know, what the mother was saying. How the little girl would, you know, 
how her her privates was was hurting, walking around hurting, holding her privates from this guy violating her, man. And, and what came of it? Nothing, nothing. And that's what why I really want to do this lesson because this scripture, Psalm seventy three, was was ringing in my mind, man. You know, you know. And we don't know the half of what's going on, but hey, how about you? How I sees everything, and he's about to recompense this devil. So I'm gonna close out here. Psalm seventy three. The main point is in five. I start at one. Truly, Yahweh is good to Yasharala, even to such a, even to such as are of a clean heart. That's the elect of Yasharala, the hopeful elect. We have that contrite spirit. We're repentful. We're remorseful. We're seeking the Lord while He may be found. We're trying to offend as least as possible. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. And that's all of us, man. You know, because we're in the flesh. The flesh <laughs> the flesh is wicked as hell, man. It's a constant war. It's a constant b battle between the spirit and the flesh. The spirit wants to do righteousness, but the flesh, you know, wants to go off. So you got to bring that body into subjection. And we all have moments of weakness when, you know, you kind of like, you look at this world and it looks like they winning. Look like the wicked is winning. But, hey, we're, we're going to get the victory in the end, you know. They shall not at all be uh, acquitted. They're going to answer for all the wickedness they've been doing. All the wickedness they've been sowing in the earth. Chiefly Esau Edom. A recompense is coming. He's going to have to drink the same cup we had to drink. But he's going to have to drink double of it. So hey, don't envy this devil. You know? you Don't, don't envy these celebrities. These entertainers. These rappers. These athletes. You don't know what the hell they did to, 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 to get in that position. And again, like I said, nine times out of ten, it's some type of wickedness, man. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Yeah, the glitz and the glamour, you know. But, hey, there's a saying in the world, all that shines isn't gold, you know. For there are no bad, for I was envious at, this the main point, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Yeah, yeah, you got whole pedophile islands, you know, <laughs> you know, and nothing comes of it. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. That's the main point. They are not in trouble as other men. Prime example, Woody Allen. Look at how long this has been going on. We know about this. Since like the 90s, man, you know, and nothing comes of it. Nothing comes of it. They are, but hey, that's it, because Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He's in the power seat. He writes the laws and amends the laws. You know, you know, it says they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride, read Obadiah, he's the proud man. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. He's the bloody man. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. So that that's pretty much the point. That's pretty much the point, man. Alright? The whole chapter is good, but that's the point. They are not in trouble as other men. You know, neither are they plagued like other men. They get away with murder, literally, you know. Hey, but nothing is <laughs> nothing you're not gonna get it. You're, the sins of this place, it's reached the heavens, you know. The cries of the righteous, it's, it's, it's entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. A recompense is coming. Damn devils. You know, and we don't, like, again, we don't know the half of what, what the hell this devil does behind closed doors. You know, pizza gate, and so on and so forth. Man, you don't, we don't know that. We only know, we don't know the half of it. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai sees every iota of it. Every iota, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the angels see. And they're keeping a record, they're keeping tabs on this devil. And he's a, re, a, a major recompense is coming. He's going to take vengeance. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to take vengeance on you goddamn devils. And he's not going to meet you as a man. Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Okay, that's Yahweh Shai Hamashiach coming to take this goddamn devil down. So anyway, keep pushing, man. Keep fighting. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal. Kwam nasharallah.